This is a special Inside Space Live report. The American shuttle and the Russian Mir on this, their third docking mission in space. From the Sci-Fi Control Center, here's Mary Calvey. Welcome back to Sci-Fi's live coverage of the STS-76 mission. The moment of truth has arrived. The docking is a success. NASA tells us a very smooth rendezvous. Mir and Landis have made contact. They have made capture. And at this time, we are going to show you what happened just moments ago. Current altitude, 245 statute miles. That was just a few moments ago, Mir and Atlantis docking, third time in history. Mechanical systems officer reports contact. Well, that was all done by human touch, but shuttle and commander, confirmed, uh, he did get there. some help by some high-tech systems. There was radar, of course, and also a handheld laser range finder. There's also camera, which is mounted at the center of Atlantis's docking mechanism. That's how we're seeing the pictures. Now, we should tell you that the 53-year-old astronaut, Shannon yes, Lisa, she is going to yes, climb yes, aboard Mir very soon. And uh, she's going to be there five months, five months on Mir with the Russian cosmonaut. It'll be the first time an American has spent that much time in space. This is Mission Control Houston as uh, the ring uh, drives in. Now, and, uh, Mir and Atlantis will remain docked for about two hours. Atlantis, They're trying uh, to equalize uh, the atmospheric hooks, uh, the pressure to, uh, lock the two spacecraft before together. they can open the latch. So Mission this is an exciting Moscow. moment for NASA and a real success for NASA. Yeah. As we mentioned, the docking, a smooth rendezvous. It came just on time. And we are continuing to see pictures of the docking. Mir and Atlantis linked up. Essentially, uh, and you are watching live coverage of the STS-76 mission. Of course, we will bring you the latest. I'm Mary Calvey for Inside Space.